uh, Lee has been finding me some mushrooms. Um, he found some oyster mushrooms and I've cooked those up and ate those and he found another one today. And he's been finding some turkey tail that I am making, um, I'm drying and making medicine out of. He found a new mushroom that was new to us and I have studied it, checked it out. I'd like to never found out anything about it, but I finally did. And um, it is a polypore uh, mushroom, a shelf polypore mushroom. Uh, we'll show that in a minute. And um, it is not necessarily edible. It's not poisonous, it's not toxic, but from what I have read and understood, it is um, hard to cook and doesn't taste great. Yeah, and I'll keep studying it. I might find out more about it. From what I understand, there's not a lot of research done on that mushroom uh, that I could find. And I checked a very reliable source. Uh, Adam over at Learn Your Land is, uh, I consider him a very, very reliable source. And he's the one I finally found that mushroom uh, on his channel. So I trust him and I'm going by what he says. <laughs> All right, we are trying to get down the hill, but we've got somebody in the way. This is kind of a steep hill. I'm probably gonna fall. It's wet out here. Dogs. All right. The I'm gonna have to get down this hill and I'll probably have to cut some of this video out. Especially if I fall, I'm gonna cut that part out. No, you ain't. <laughs> and, whew, it's wet. It's wet, so those leaves are slick and wet. And I didn't fall. Okay, so. Something I'm gonna be looking for real soon that I don't think is up yet. Um, we'll be looking for wild ramps out here. Uh, they come up out here in the early, early spring. I don't think we'll find any yet. It's not quite time. It is about time to start tapping trees. Uh, Lee's found a few mushrooms. This is, let's go over here and get this. He pulled one off. Is uh, one of the false turkey tails. Um, can't think of the name of it right oh, this minute. It's got the coloring like a turkey tail, only it has gills. Mm -hmm. See the gills? Turkey tail does not have gills. It has small, very small pores. It will look like this one. Turkey tail looks a lot like this one, only probably more colorful usually. Uh, turkey tail is very colorful. So it will look kind of like this. Turkey tail usually has the white tip on the outer where that brown is. Uh, turkey tail ha has white and will be white underneath but have uh, pores instead of gills. I have learned that a lot of the um, modern medicines are derived from mushrooms or wild plants, but more mushrooms than anything. And I'd much rather have the natural than the stuff that they've created that has lots of side effects, you know. So, mostly we are looking for mushrooms. We're gonna go over here in a minute to the ones he found that I was talking about. And we'll see if we find any others. Old dead logs is a good place to find mushrooms. Sometimes mushrooms grow on live trees, but a lot of them grow on old dead trees. And, whew, and so this will be, I guess, number one, <laughs> walk in the woods number one, right? Yep. We're gonna do a series called Walk in the Woods. And, um, It'll usually be me and Lee together, or it could sometimes be just him or just me. What? One that I got the turkey tail off. Of okay. Yesterday. Look at all the moss. I love moss. Do y'all love moss? Oh, I love moss. Look, we've got everybody following us now. <laughs> we've got a whole line following us now. Okay. Yep, there's some turkey tails. 
Yeah, I think. old. They're oh old. Okay, yeah. I thought you was gonna say young. No, they're, they're old, old and dried up already. Yeah. This one's not. This one's just little. This one here's little. It's got a little bit of color. Yeah. In it, well, you can feel this lot. one's got uh, spongy. I see yeah. the white, like I was talking about, the white around it. Yeah. It and then the bottom nice. will be very white. So I have two or three books of mushrooms, and they all have the poisonous ones marked with little red crossbones. And if you look through that book, out of probably five or six hundred mushrooms in that book. There's only maybe 10 poisonous ones. So it's, it, it happens. It happens, but not highly likely. And especially some growth coming on. Young elderberries. Elderberries. With some young growth coming on them. That's awesome. Let me show that again. January. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. What did you say this was? We don't know yet. It looks like young, little tiny, tiny young uh, turkey tail. I don't know if this is focusing in very good, but it looks like tiny young turkey tail. Can't tell yet, but that's what it looks like. That will be awesome. We love foraging. That's something we just do all the time. We just love to forage. We're always looking to see what we can find. We have pictures of the oyster mushrooms he found. I can add in here some of the uh, clips of the mushrooms he found lately. Right there's the, oh, the dried up oyster mushroom. It's not looking mushroom. too good. But these here are some small young turkey tails. turkey tails. Little young turkey tails coming on. We'll be watching yeah. them. And this here is the shelf. Type. That's that shelf. Um, it's just a shelf polypore. Yeah. And obviously. Cat, please. <laughs> this is a shelf polypore. Polypore meaning it has uh, pores on the bottom. I'm gonna just tear a little piece off. So this is the one I was talking about because it's white on top and kind of a rusty brown on the bottom. And that rusty brown will separate from that top easily. You can kind of put a knife or something under the edge of that and separate them and then that brown is kind of sticky kind of tacky tacky is the word i was looking for earlier lee tacky, tacky. yeah kind of, like you, tacky. kind of tacky yeah we have trout lilies and ramps that come up in the early early spring i can't wait for that this creek runs down to the river and all out here will be early they only last about two weeks or so the ramps and trout lilies huh? three miles i didn't say it was far i said way down that way i didn't say nothing about miles way down that way that could be three miles four miles let me see <clears throat> Curling. Yes. Yeah, the false turkey tail can really curl around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know yet. Too early to tell. There's certain mushrooms we know, and uh, what we really don't like to deal with is mushrooms that have a poisonous look like. Because if we, if, if a mushroom has a poisonous look like, we really don't like to even fool with that and take any chances. We like the mushrooms that don't have a poisonous look alike. But this is a jelly mushroom. There's a lot of different uh, jelly mushrooms. They are mostly all edible. I don't think there's any of the jelly mushrooms that were poisonous. Not that I've... But they don't look very appetizing. <laughs> yeah, they don't... <laughs> but they don't look appetizing, so we have not done that yet. Especially it feels like um, jelly. It feels like... Um, 
um, jello, maybe. Jelly, it's just jelly. Kind of like one of them squishy ball type. Squishy jelly something. Things. I don't know. It's jelly like. And this one's kind of a reddish color. I think that's what they We've seen color. black ones. There are some black ones on the property we've seen. I should try it one of these days, but I haven't tried it yet. Anyway, so I can't tell you. I would maybe chop it up in a, a, a something. Um, some kind of food, maybe. A hoof or something like that. Hoof mushroom. I don't yeah. know a lot about that. It's no, it, velvety like. Yeah, it's it's it was used uh, for um, starting fire and stuff. Oh. Hmm. Because it's yeah, I don't know a lot about that mushroom. Out, we'll have to it, check that out. It a spark real good. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Now it's, I read up on it that. Yeah. See, it's Let's got see, um, see ridges man, all the way across he had, uh, and he velvety had underneath. Pack when they found him. Oh, okay. That's cool. That's cool to know. Mm -hmm. um, now, when you first packed it up here, I thought you was going to have a chaga. We don't have chaga here. So I was like, no, nope, that's not a chaga. The teeth, yeah. The teeth on the bottom. Good. Show that. Yeah. That's got the teeth instead of pores or... Um, gills it's or got bridges it's got teeth. teeth can you kind of bend it and show the teeth show it like um, yeah like that wait, wait a minute i'm back up right there see the teethy looking some some have teeth like that and some have uh pores whoops pores and some have um, gills, and that helps you identify mushrooms. Um, also ridges. And ridges, yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's some of the ways that help identify mushrooms. Um, poisonous, or at least one that is poisonous that looks similar to the honey mushroom, and I really haven't, oop, I just knocked the cap off. This one's got gills looks similar to honey mushroom there's different ones that look like that but there is one that is poisonous i would really have to research before i would eat that but uh, i will eventually learn those <laughs> no yeah no i will eventually learn those because i see a lot of honey mushrooms but then i'm not real sure it's a honey mushroom so i don't eat them but I'm all learn that. Oh, look, there's some more. This is the black jelly, I think. No, it's kind of red looking. It looks black in the camera, but it's, I'm not sure. It's kind of jelly. Jelly. It's kind of reddish. It looks black on this camera, but it's dark. Dark red. Oh, gosh, there's a whole bunch of it. Look over here. Ready to eat? Mm -hmm. Look at there. Bunch of it. Kitty Kitty down. wants some. Kitty wants well, some. I can tell you right now. If it's you a eat a raw it. oyster, I don't see why in the heck that don't look like a raw oyster. Raw oyster is totally different than this mm -hmm. no, both of them jelly look looking. <laughs> well, I might eat some someday just to try it. There's a lot of it there. All right, me and Lee's out here again. Um, in the woods behind the house, we are going to get some of those jelly uh, mushrooms that we showed some of. I have been looking that up and reading up on that, and there are no uh, poisonous look likes. And uh, the one that we found, I have positively identified as the amber jelly roll mushroom and even though i said i would not eat that unless i was desperate i am gonna try it so we are on the lookout we did have a frost so we're a little concerned about finding any um you can eat them if they dried up you can rehydrate them and eat them oh <clears throat> you can uh, dehydrate them and save them 
and then rehydrate them when you get ready to use them. And uh, so they are good in soups and stir fries. I may try to get a little bit of that. So let's see. All right, there it is. It's kind of a amber tr translucent looking color. And it is jelly. And it is uh, high in pectin. So if you were going to make uh, jelly with this, you wouldn't need the pectin because it is high in pectin. Stop. And I assume, saying that, I assume that you could use it in making jelly for your pectin. Stop. Some under here. So, anyway, I kept saying I would not eat this unless I was desperate. But the more I've read about it, the more I thought that maybe I would try it. So there's also one similar that is thicker and a little bit darker color and thicker. And uh, not always darker color. Uh, some of them I saw were not darker color, but were a little thicker. So they weren't as translucent looking. Uh, and they're flatter. So they're called... Um, wood ear wood ear mushroom these are called amber jelly roll and um, so um, the wood ear is a little more medicinal and uh, used the same way pretty much but it's got some medicinal properties in it and I'll uh, maybe try to find some of that later on and discuss that I'm not sure we have that hair I think I've seen it here but I'm not positive I see this all the time. Okay, we got them up in the house here. I'm soaking them in a bowl. Now these are small. They are pretty small. Uh, you get you see them a whole lot bigger um, usually. I have seen them a whole lot bigger. Um, so, but I think maybe because of the weather, and we did get that frost the other night, and we had a killing freeze a while back. So I don't know if that would affect these or not. I know that when it gets closer to summer, like late spring, they will start drying up. But from what I understand, like I said, you can still use them then and rehydrate them. But in the dead of summer, they'll probably be completely dried up and, and won't find any. So there we go. We gonna try this out, y'all. Uh, and I have been really enjoying um, some of my mushrooms, my oyster mushrooms, and my dryad saddles. Uh, I have been making like a um, kind of a sauce uh, to go on uh, meat. And uh, so I had cut up, I'm going to do a video on this. Uh, I had cut up some pork uh, it was pork ribs and I had cut them up into little cu into cubes and stir fried them and uh, or browned them and then I made like a mushroom sauce to go on top of them and that was delicious so I might try this uh, like that I don't know I don't know y'all <laughs> I'm just gonna start melting this uh, big pat of butter and uh, then I will put in these and some garlic. Now this is exactly how I do uh, my mushroom sauce with my oyster mushrooms or my dried saddle uh, pheasant back mushrooms. All right, so here we go. Let's get this melting. We're just kind of sauteing. Um, sauteing these mushrooms. And then putting a little garlic in there. And then after it's really, you know, kind of sauteed up good, then I add a little heavy cream. I'm going to be using my powdered heavy cream made up. And uh, it's a whole lot cheaper that way than heavy cream. Because heavy cream has really gotten outrageous. And I use the heavy cream on my uh, low-carb diet. So, okay. This is melted up good. I am fixing to pour these in here. 
Here we go. <laughs> uh, let's see. There's one stuck. Come out of there, buddy. All right. There it is. Huh? Now, I'll just get this saute in and see how it goes, y'all. This is my first try at this, so I figured I'd bring y'all along. I do this all the time with uh, um, dried saddles and oyster mushroom. Uh, they will also pop. Now, let me warn you about that. When they start getting real good and hot, you're supposed to cover them because they will pop. And I may have to do that, so I'll get me a lid and have it on hand. But I'm planning on making a sauce, so I'm hoping they won't pop too bad in the sauce. So I don't want to saute them too hot just here. I will probably go ahead, before they start popping, I will go ahead and um, um, put my milk in there probably because <clears throat> they do pop out of the pan uh, from what I saw. I've watched some videos on it and um, uh, one I really like that I have been watching is uh, this um, Mushroom Doctor or Doctor, I think it's Doctor Mushroom and um, and he's really, really good. Uh, he hasn't made any videos since he talked about COVID. He got to talking about COVID, and that's it. He's done. So, I assume they took him off of there or something. Uh, and there's another one. I'll have to, uh, I'll put that across here. There's another one I've been watching that's a doctor, and he does mushrooms too. So, two of them that are doctors that have been doing mushrooms and talking about the benefits of wild mushrooms. Uh, but yeah, these are liable to start popping. So I'm gonna put the lid on. So I'm gonna use a about a good heaping teaspoon of real garlic. Throw that in there. Now I don't want to get this to popping out of the pan, so I'm trying to do this, but not get it too hot and fried up before I put my milk in there. And I usually do. I usually saute them up real good before I put the milk in. But with this kind, I'm thinking I probably shouldn't do that. Or as soon as they start popping, I will pour the milk in then. I think I'll throw just a little bit of salt in there. Okay, these are just now getting hot enough to pop. So I'm fixing to go ahead and throw. No, I'm not. I waited too late. All right. That's popping, y'all. <laughs> it pops like popcorn. It'll pop right out of there. I need to pour my milk in quickly. Got it. Woo. Now I just got to get this heated up good with this milk in it and make a creamy sauce and I'll just kind of let that cook a little and reduce just a little to thicken it and we'll be good to try this out I'm gonna get my meat going while this thickens okay I'm browning up these uh, pieces of uh, pork rib a little pepper a little bit of salt sauce over here going it is pretty much done. I'm trying to reduce it just a little. Okay. All right. This is browning up real good. I'm going to turn this down and let it simmer a little bit to, uh, to, uh, um, to get that a little more tender. So uh, get that pork a little more tender. I'm going to turn it down and put a lid on it for a few minutes. This would be good with onions in there too, but I I didn't do that this time because I'm trying to just show this is something new for me. If I don't like it, I don't want to waste too much. <laughs> I'm going to eat it. <laughs> By golly. Okay, I let that simmer for a good five minutes. <clears throat> I'm fixing to pour this in here and let it simmer all together for a little bit. Okay.
right, there's what it looks like. I'm gonna let that simmer down. There's my finished food. There's a mushroom, quite big. Let me try to get a different one, a littler one. I'm gonna get a little one. Mushroom, piece of pork. <laughs> Here we go. Not bad. I don't taste mushroom. <clears throat> and sometimes I can kind of taste mushroom with some of the other mushrooms. You can taste them. This just tastes like the sauce, pretty much. Garlicky sauce. Uh, doesn't have a whole lot of flavor. This is just a mushroom. I'm going to try just the mushroom. Not not a lot of flavor of anything except for the garlic and milk sauce, <clears throat> buttery, garlicky, you know. Um, not bad. I definitely could do this. I definitely would eat this as a, if I needed to, food, you know. Um, it's not bad at all. I would do it again. I will try it in some other stir fries and soups. I'm gonna dry some of it, like I said, and keep it on hand for that kind of thing. It really just takes on the flavor of what you're cooking it in, I believe. But I definitely can eat all this. I definitely can eat this. So, not bad at all. I would like to have cut them up smaller. Next time I will cut the pieces up smaller because a couple of these are pretty big. And I'm thinking, hmm. See, there's a big one. I'm thinking, hmm. But it's not bad. I could do that. I would rather cut it up a little smaller, but I can do it. I'm going to eat this, y'all. <laughs> I'm going to eat this. So, there you go. So, um, <laughs> so thanks for watching. Um, this was our first video in a series of... Uh, walk in the woods that we're doing so y'all keep watching we'll be doing these at least once a week maybe twice a week during the uh, summer when there's so much to forage we uh, may get to where we're doing them twice a week and uh, we're going to try to cook every time uh, try to uh, walk in the woods find something to forage come home explain it to you and come home and make a uh, a meal with it or a dish with it of some sort or if it's medicinal we'll show you how we make a, a tincture or something with it so there you go that's what we're doing thanks for watching uh we've missed everyone and I'm glad to be back and uh so um just uh stay tuned and keep watching and uh, give us a thumbs up comment subscribe and um see y'all later <laughs>